Hello, the Great American Stampin' Show is back. Hello, hello, hello. I am Julie Salva. You are at Stampin' Shine with Julie Salva. And I'm just a girl sitting in an office wearing a crown. That sounds pretty good. That sounds pretty good. So listen, welcome to season three of the Great American Stampin' Show, episode one. This is a competition where four of your favorite stampers, myself and my friends, Jody Reinert, Shannon West, and Brandy Barnard, all compete for your vote to win the weekly Great American Stampin' Show. What? What's that you say? What's that you say? Julie, did you say weekly? I sure did. Season three is going to feature weekly episodes of the Great American Stampin' Show airing every Thursday night at six o'clock central time. So whatever your time zone is, it'll piggyback right off of that. We are also featuring a theme, a theme. Here's the theme, sketches. Page 22 in the Stampin' Up! catalog, we are focusing on sketches. Tonight's competition will feature inspiration from this sketch. Next week, here. Week after that, here. And we will just work our way through all of the sketches. So you'll notice I said inspiration from. We may decide to copy the sketch exactly, or we may decide to add our own flair to the sketch. What do you think? Am I a exactly girl or a flair girl? You better believe I'm a flair girl. So. I'm going to give you a glimpse at my entry. Let's see where I go. Okay, you ready to create? Season three kicks off right now. So I told you that we are going to be focusing on page 22 in the catalog and focusing on our interpretation of these sketches. So obviously, here's sketch number one. And just for the curious, we'll be going like this. So you can see we got a lot of sketches to hit. It's a good thing we're going to be posting every Thursday night. So let's go. So I will start here. Now I noticed in the sketch that there were two pieces of DSP. So I thought, well, I want to get a DSP that's going to do the work for me. You guys know I'm a little bit lazy. So my base piece is going to be Mossy Meadow. And I used the brick embossing folder. It's my favorite. I love it. It's subtle, gives it a little bit of interest, but doesn't freak me out. Then I'm using the Wildflower Meadow DSP. Really like this DSP. It's funny because, okay, so this is like wild wheat. And when I saw wild wheat, I thought it was like, um, like perfectly puke. Um, that's probably not the best way to say it or, um, daring diarrhea. I, I don't know. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> I didn't like it, but I like it a lot now. The artists have done a really great job. So I'm using these two pieces of DSP and I've cut them both to three and a quarter by four and a half. Okay. Side note, this is cut to four by five and a quarter. So I am going to take this piece, the Moody Moth piece, and I will just adhere it just like the sketch showed. Okay, that's the beauty of these sketches. You can do it exactly like it shows, or you can have a little bit of an interpretation. What do you think I'm gonna do? You think I'm gonna do it exactly like it shows, or do you think I'm gonna have a little bit of an interpretation? I think either way, you'd be correct. Okay, so I've got that, and now you're like, Julia, it's hanging off the edge. What are you gonna do? People, stay with me, okay? Don't, have I ever disappointed you? Okay, so probably. But in the last three minutes since I've started, have I disappointed you? I hope, I hope the answer is no. Okay, so now I'm going to take this piece. I don't know which one I want to put. I think I want to put the white at the top. And this I'm going to center straight, okay? Just like, again, just like the sketch showed. Yeah, I think that looks good. I'll screw it up a little bit. Okay. Do you guys talk to yourself when you stamp? Okay, so this is what we've got, all right? I know you're like, Julie, I don't even, I don't even like that. Well, stay with me. Okay. All right. So going back to the sketch, I want you guys to see, got a little focal point right here. So I'm going to do that. So I have already die cut out of the, um, is it iconic images? Um, I, I think, I think, no, readings of the season, readings of the season dies. Um, they make all the little tags. I've cut that out using the big shot. You guys know I'm not using the big shot on the screen unless I have to. Um, and this is basic beige. Now I'm going to tell you, so when I was growing up, my dad, um, all our cars were like beige or tan or brown. And I'm like, that is the most boring 
shade of tar ever. Can we not? I mean, and again, I'm a teenager. I'm like, can we not have a red one or something really cool? No, we have beige. My first car that I ever had, okay, be excited. It was a Camaro, so that's awesome. Beige, beige Camaro. Who has a beige sports car? Julie Salva, that's who. Nonetheless, basic beige and stampin', I'm a fan. It's not quite as stark as um, white, but it gives me a little bit of, uh, it's not quite as dark as craft, you know? So I really like stamping on it. So anyway, so you've been on my mind is what I stamped. And I did that using the corresponding stamp set, the one that matches the um, Wildflower Designs DSP. I use the Wildflower Designs ink or um, stamps. These have been on back order for a while. So some people have seen them and then they went away, but they're back and I love this set. I think it's really pretty. So anyway, that's what I used. You've been on my mind. I stamped it in Mossy Meadow and that is going to be my focal point here, just like the sketch. Now I'm gonna put some dimensionals. I'm gonna use dimensionals to adhere it. So already it's coming together. So you could take, these are the small dimensionals that I want those. Oh, here are my big ones. Um, you could, could look at this and say, Julie, you did it exactly like the sketch. And some people are gonna be like, man, that is really helpful because I wanna learn how to make simple cards. And I think that th these sketches, I mean, I'm telling you, I think they're great. I love them. Um, but some of you may be like, well, I want to do it a little bit more, Salva. Well, just hold tight, people. So I've got my Mossy Meadow jute. I'm going to tie a bow here. Why am I going to tie a bow here? Because you're so amazingly creative, Julie. No, I'm going to tie a bow here because there is a bow on the sketch. And what are we doing? We're doing it like the sketch. Now, I know right now, some of you are thinking, Salva, you have zero hope, zero hope of winning this time. Because, I mean, can't you bring, i a glue dot here to attach my bow. Can't you bring a little something to the table? Can you not do something beyond just what the sketch says? Well, you know, I don't know. What do you think? If we were gonna do a vote, if we were gonna do a vote right now, trim that a little bit. What do you think? Do you think it would be a card just like the sketch, which is lovely? Or for those of you who are paying close attention, you will know, Julie, you haven't even made a card. All you've done is made the front. You are correct because although I think the sketch is stunning as it is, we gonna amp it up a notch. So here's what I'm going to do. So what I have done is I have cut a piece of Moody Moth. I have cut it to four and a quarter by 11. So those of you who were disappointed with me because you're like, this is so boring. Well, hang on now. I'm going to score at, let me use my scissors. I don't need them anymore. I'm going to score at two and three quarters and five and a half. Now, this is an easy fold. It's not the easiest fun fold in the world, which was another um, YouTube video that I did, but it is an easy fold. And all we're going to do is fold over and fold back. Okay. Easy, easy fold. You've heard it called a Z fold. You've heard it called, I mean, any any number of things. Okay. Um, this way is what I'm going to do. It. Okay. Kind of, yep, that's it, okay? Um, so now what I'm going to do, I'm gonna take my adhesive. Now this time I'm gonna switch over to the Snail Plus because I told you, when you have a cardstock that you're manipulating and moving, you want really good adhesive, okay? So that's what I have here. And I am going to attach this right at the front of the card, okay? And got a little bit extra there. You know you can just take your finger and rub it off. Well, you might not have known that, but you can. Can you see where I'm going with this? It's going to be an easel card, an easel card. So how am I going to make it stay up? Well, I'll show you. I've got basic beige for my inside. I've cut one more piece of coordinating DSP to three quarters of an inch by four. And I'm going to adhere that right here at the bottom of my basic beige. I wanna, I, I'm gonna do a little bit of a border because I can, okay? 
All right, so we've got that. Now, this is going to go inside the card. You guys, this is gonna be a great card for somebody that, I mean, and the sketch started it all off. And this is the kind of thing that they can put on their desk if they want to. Of course, if they have a lot of people around, somebody might walk by and see it and say, why have you been on her mind? That's weird. Um, so, you know, you have that. But it is still, it would be beautiful sitting on a desk. And I know you're looking at it and you're like, Julie, that's not really propping it up. I mean, it's just kind of like sitting there. I mean, can, can we fix that? Yes. Yes, we can. What I have done using, again, the wildflower designs is I stamped this little, we're going to call it a flower. Honestly, I think it's just a fancy weed. I don't know. But I've stamped that in the beige using the wild wheat, which we're not even going to refer to again um, as perfectly puke or darling diarrhea. It is wild wheat because it has redeemed itself. And I am going to use some dimensionals. What I want, I want something here propped up that will hold this in place. So the small dimensionals are actually perfect for this. The big dimensionals would be, well, big. Um, but these will work great. So I'm going to put these, all those little spots there. Pull the backing off. You guys, This I, I love this card. I sat and looked at it last night. You guys ever do that when you've made a card and you just like, really like it so you sit and look at it okay i'm gonna put that right there and look look it props the card up so now it's super super cute so it mails you can fold it down like that or you can prop it up like that i love it if only if only there were a way to make perfection even more perfected there is, you know why? Gems. The gems that match these colors, the 2023 to 2025 in color gems. Come here, Moody Mauve. Come here, baby. Pop you right there. I'm gonna pop you, I think, right there. I'm gonna pop you right there. And because I'm living the dream over here, I'm even gonna put a couple on the inside. I could put the, the wheat, that's there, but I'm not. Um, I'm gonna stick with my little moody moth here. And I will tell you with the wildflower um, meadows with the DSP and everything, you're also gonna get, I mean, this is great because you're also gonna get um, some of the um, the misty moonlight, which all of these colors go well with. I mean, really gonna be great. So let me bring it up and show it to you. Ta-da, ta-da, you've been on my mind. Tell me if you think works with that sketch number one. I do. And remember, it's a little pop-up easel card. And ta-da! There it is. And done. So what did you think? I feel like I followed the sketch pretty closely on the front part, but gosh, I love this stand-up easel card. And so Easy, so easy. So I would appreciate your vote. Here's how it works. You can vote by simply putting thumbs up on the YouTube channel here or on my video here. And then you can check back Sunday evening. Voting closes Sunday evening. And on Monday, we will share who won that week. Following Thursday, we're back competing again. So I'm super excited about our weekly entries. Hey, I would appreciate it if you enjoy this video. If you subscribe to my channel, even better, comment, and best of all, subscribe, comment, and share my video with somebody else that you think would enjoy it. Guys, I appreciate you. Love the Great American Stampin' Show. We've got some fun things heading your way this season, some twists that we're going to be doing. So um, stay tuned, and I'll see you next Thursday. Bye-bye.